Uh, regarding the game, uh, we were competitive until uh, the moment we, like, uh, it was uh, almost four minutes to go. We were uh, one point up, 62-61. But uh, in, in this tournament, required to have a little bit more players uh, uh, available in terms of being present on the court and uh, give something. Unfortunately, we were short today. We had only five active players that they were giving something good to, to the team uh, and I'll take some positive moments for sure. The positive moments is that uh, when we face uh, a moment, a momentum of Zalgiris when they took over a plus seven and after the timeout we had a good reaction coming in, 10-2 ten, ten for us, we go to plus one. Uh, I'll take also some bad moments regarding the boards. They were having uh, 12 offensive boards which is big for Zalgiris team and we knew about that. We were playing also big in order to protect our, our paint, but they were better on offensive rebound. It was a, a hard fought game. Um, you know, I think it's a game that we needed for this period, for this uh, preparation period. Um, it was a good test for us to kind of see where we're at. Um, it just shows that you know that we still have uh, you know a lot we need to work on, a lot we need to uh, you know kind of fix before the season. But it's good. Um, it's good for us to kind of uh, understand this, and you know it's good for us to uh, you know to get back to work to fix the problems, to fix the issues that we have before the games uh, really count. Все эти турниры, которые проводятся, они, в принципе, товарищеские игры, но это такие хорошие уроки для всех команд, кто принимает здесь участие. И, прежде всего, мы нарабатываем свои действия, свою защиту, свою атаку, свою тактику. В принципе, турнир был неплохой, и вот сегодняшний матч, конечно, мы жалко, что проиграли, соперник очень сильный. Но, прежде всего, там много ребят, которые с основной командой не играли сегодня, так что и это тоже сказалось. Но а в целом турнир хороший, и показывали и хорошую игру, и плохую, но лучше сейчас допускать ошибки, чем в сезоне, и тем более в конце сезона. Так что без ошибок не бывает побед, и без таких падений не бывает взлетов. Так что я считаю, что это все нам на пользу.